Hi, I've been seeing so many talented ladies on YouTube that have been making all these beautiful flowers. And I thought, well, I don't have a lot of the laces and material that they've been using for their flowers. But I thought, well, let me check out and see what I have left over as far as my materials. So um, I had some of this uh, faux leather that I just uh, covered two of our kitchen stools with. And it's just, I want to say, nice little swirls and stuff on it, but it's a faux leather. Then I had some uh, leftover denim. I made uh, our dogs, oops, sorry, I made our dogs some uh, new dog beds uh, in the covers, and I used this denim. And then I covered... Uh, one of my ottomans in my craft room uh, with this uh, kind of uh, vintage, shabby chic kind of uh, cotton material. So I thought, well, okay, let me see what I can do as far as making flowers. So here are some of the dyes that I used. Let's see if we can get this glare out of here. Okay, that maybe that's better. Here's one of the uh, Sizzix dyes that I used. I tried and I tried. And this one, eh, I don't know, I'm not very good at it, but this is what, uh, how they came out. And this is by using the leather, which I thought, wow, that wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't too bad, but eh, I don't know, I'm not particularly crazy about these flowers. But then what I did is um, I had this dye, which I love. And what I did is I took my denim and my shabby chic or whatever material and that faux leather and I made my flowers out of that and the leaf, this leaf right here, I made uh, for the flowers. So I will show you exactly how they turned out. And then I'll, I'll uh, post some pictures also on the steps that I did. But here are my um, flowers made with the material. And now I cut them out and I sprayed them with um, Glimmer Mist. Let's see, here it is. Uh, it is the uh, the uh, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and it is the uh, Tea Rose. And what I did is I sprayed after I cut out them with the material and the dyes, they worked great with this material. And I sprayed it, and what happened was is that after I sprayed, they kind of like shredded a little bit, and I thought, well, well I guess that's okay, you know. And I just added a little bit of uh, the ladies I see, they're adding like a little bit of um, fibers to their uh, flowers. So. That's what it looks like. Each one has a different uh, center. And here's the leaves. I just put a little bit of the green on the leaves. And here's another one. So that is the shabby chic one. And then with the denim, here's the denim one with the dem denim leaves. And what I did is I um, used... the uh, goosebumps on this one. And I thought, well, let me see how that works out. So you can see it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, and it's got a little bit more of texture. And what was nice about it, it actually was almost like a little bit of an adhesive. So then I was able to go ahead and kind of form the flowers a little bit more, shape them a little bit. And that's how these uh, denim flowers turned out, which I thought, well, okay, that's my first try on these flowers, but oh well. So that's the denim ones, and then with this um, faux leather that I had, I thought, oh, let's see how these flowers come out, and this is how the, um, the faux, oops, sorry about that, this is how the flowers came out. And what I did with this um, is I have the Tim Holtz new distress paints, and I used the um, 
Oh, no, not the vintage photo. I used um, the brush pewter. I guess it's not focusing. The brush, brushed pewter, and the tarnished brass. antique bronze and then with the leaves I just used this um, apple barrel acrylic paint paint by a uh, plaid and this isn't too bad of a color palm leaf they call it and then so with this is the pewter and then with the brass this is what the brass looks like and all I did was use my heating tool because this is a faux leather it's uh, it melts it's like plastic well, that's what it actually is, is plastic. And um, what I did is I used my uh, heating tool and started just working and kind of forming the petals. And this is how it uh, worked out. And then here is the um, bronze. And the same thing. Just kind of use the heat tool. Kind of formed the petals. So, those are my flowers. Like I say, I tried to try to do what these ta other talented ladies do, but I don't know. So, anyway, this these are my flowers. I will post the pictures also. Sorry for the video. Bye.